Yeah. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, boy. We're doing the Will Coxon rank sum test. But first, Wilmer. We need a game plan. The game plan. We're going to combine data sets and rank them then. We add the ranks for each sample. And then we find the critical values, calculate the test statistic, Z test statistic, and state the conclusion of our hypothesis. Our hypothesis is that the medians are equal, our alternative is that they're different. So what's your problem? Clinical trials of Lipitor, a sample of data uh, the sample data below are changes in LDL cholesterol in clinical trials of Lipitor and its generic. It was a claim that Lipitor had an effect on LDL. They claimed it. Use a 5% significance level to test the claim that for those treated with 20 milligrams, okay, cool, I'm recording this, of Lipitor, and those treated with 80 of Lipitor, see if they have the same medians. So what do we first do? We put the data sets together like that. Then we're going to go ahead and rank them. Now, I say you should go one by one. My lowest is minus 44, and my highest is minus 25. And then I'm going to go and in order, just put those in there so that we can rank them in some way that makes sense. So I'm just writing them whereabouts they would be on a number line. So there I go, and I'm almost done. Wait for it there. I have them all ranked, and then I'm going to kind of go and, like, snake on through. What do I mean? I mean, I'm going to be all like... Like that, so that I can put them in order. So now in short order, we go and we do that. Boom! That's how I get my lowest value is 1. Oh, where'd that 2.5 come from? That's because my second and third positions both contained minus 42, so I averaged second and third and got 2.5. And then, oh! Fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, I averaged those, and those got 4 point, or 5.5. And then, and then, and then, I'm ranking them from lowest to highest. And then, I keep on keeping on. I almost have them all ranked. And now it's time for the sum. But, my first sample had 13 members. My second sample had 14 members. So, when I added up my first sample, I didn't do this. Who did this? Wilmer and Christina did this? Yeah, they got 253.5, and they both got it, and it's on them. And then, Sasha and Austin added up the second ones, and they got 142.5. So, it's on them. Let's take that to this next page. Ready? 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 I'm just recopying that data. Why? Because now I'm on to my third step. I need to get my test statistics. My mean of my R's. That's N1 times the quantity N1 plus N2 plus 1 divided by 2. We plug, bottoms up, we chug, and we get 182. That's our expected R rank. That's if they were both equal. And then we get the standard deviation of our r. That's the square root of n1 times n2 times the quantity n1 plus n2 plus 1 all over 12. We plug. And we get that our standard deviation going to be 20.61. Okay. Our test statistic is a Z stat, it's R. Now, what's our R? R, R is our first R. Why? Because that's what they say. Boom. We're going to let our R be R1. Can we let it be the other one? Yeah, that's fine too. So then we have 253.5, that's where that came from. The 182 is the mu R, and the standard deviation we got Z test statistic is 3.47. 
But what's our claim? Our claim is that the median's the same. Our alternative is that they're different. Yeah, that means you got a two-tailed test. Ah, with fail to reject in the center and reject on the outside, it's at alpha equals 0.05, you had to read the fine print for that. That's why our critical values are 1.96 and minus 1.96. So, our test statistic falls way over there in the rejection region. So what's our claim? Our claim, yeah, rejected. They're not the same. Bye.